Let's go over three multiple choice questions about cellular respiration. Number one, ATP synthase relies on the facilitated diffusion of blank down their concentration gradient to produce ATP. Remember that ATP synthase is going to be located in the mitochondrial membrane and it's gonna look something like this where something's going to flow through it and it's gonna make it turn making ATP. Now, what is that molecule? Well, we have a high concentration above the ATP synthase and a low concentration below. That molecule is going to be a hydrogen ion, also known as a proton. Number two, which of the following is the correct sequence of events in aerobic respiration? If we look down our list, we can already scratch off A and E because they don't start with glycolysis. Cellular respiration always starts with glycolysis, so those two cannot be right. Let's go through B. Glycolysis, citric acid cycle, pyruvate. Nope, this one's not correct because citric acid cycle is not the second step. C, glycolysis, oxidative phosphorylation. Nope, oxidative phosphorylation occurs at the end. D, glycolysis, pyruvate decarboxylation citric acid cycle, oxidative phosphorylation, that is the correct answer. And number three, during cellular respiration, at what point is oxygen used? Remember that oxygen is going to be used as a final electron acceptor. It's gonna bond with electrons and hydrogen ions to form water. So in this question, A, oxygen is a product of the citric acid cycle, nope. B, oxygen is a final electron acceptor, that looks right. C, oxygen is used in the transformation of glucose to pyruvate, Nope. D. Oxygen donates electrons to start the electron transport chain. Nope. E. It donates electrons to photosystem 2. Nope. That is why B is the correct answer.